All right, Patrick O'Leary, okay. good to see you, old boy. And you, my brother. Congratulations, bro. editor of the year. Oh, thank Couldn't you. Couldn't have gone to a better surprise. man. <laughs> so how things been going for you in Fleet Watch? All right, good. We've gone digital, quite a lot of digital. It was a new era. Yeah. Um, it's taken a bit of time to catch on, but it's catching on very nicely now, you know, with the different mediums. Get a lot of extra work on. You've got a weekly newsletter. Uh, you know, you're back in almost like daily newspaper. You've got Facebook. You've got good followings on our Facebook. YouTube yeah. <laughs> videos. I see you're videoing everything you do. Isn't it awful? I'm longing for my notebook and my Olivetti Letter 32 <laughs> typewriter back. <laughs> Uh, here at the Mercedes uh, gen uh, annual results, uh, your impressions thus far? I think it's stunning. I think it's a pocket of excellence in what South Africa looks like a bit of a mess at the moment. Yeah. Isn't it? On every front. Uh, mainly in the political scene, he's just, he's just really depressing everybody. Yeah. Um, and everything goes back to one man, Zuma, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and when you see a pocket of excellence like this, and I say pocket because there are others, but it's not, yeah. generally it's not. I mean, yeah. I, I belong to various uh, sites and security and things like that. You have protests every single day yeah. in, in towns that you've never even heard of. We hear the big ones such as the taxi strike, the coal miners, but every single day it's out there. So yeah. you're getting a lot of bad news. And to have this good news is really, you know, it's, in, it's encouraging but I think uh, the city's been, uh, the question was asked what they're doing in terms of influencing politics. And I think all business should go a bit further because yeah. the politicians are really messing things up big time in this country. And uh, it's almost like you're getting to the point where you say, she was, where is the good news? Where is the good news? Buy the paper and it's just awful. It's all bad news. And it's all bad and it's all political rubbish. Um, it's all people, you know, empowering each other and not the people of South Africa and the country of South Africa has forgotten, in my opinion, the politicians' eyes. So I don't want this to be a political thing, but business fits into the political environment. So without a stable political environment, you're not going to get a stable business. That's why I'm very pleased to see what the Mercedes events have done. But on a front of said they focus on their business, yeah. uh, which is perhaps a good thing, but it's, uh, I think it's so putting a few blinkers on, you know. And 10% down on truck sales to car sales up. Uh, what, what do you put that down to? Um, economy again, and also the commodities are down, so that's affected a lot of the um, uh, the hauliers. Uh, general overall volumes are down, so and margins are down as well. You know, uh, costs are up, so it's quite difficult. And the guys, I think one of the guys said that last year the, the truckers were in a state of paralysis again with all the political happenings. You know, Is the it paralysis of by analysis? Paralysis <laughs> by analysis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but again, because of all the, the things going on around, the yeah. firing of Nene, you yeah. know, drops of uh, ran. Imp the exchange had a huge impact yeah. on the trucking industry, exactly. massive impact, you know. It's not on butter and bread, yeah. but on trucking, it's a massive impact. And of course, last, last year, with all the instability around government policy yeah. and these changes and all things happening, people weren't buying trucks, they were exactly. they're holding on. Those who have yeah. got cash are holding on to it, you know, in case another disaster comes yeah. in. You don't want to be caught back in 2009 with the banks yeah. imploded the world. Exactly. Um, so I, I think it was uh, a state of paralysis last year, as was described by one of the uh, marketing directors and one of the manufacturers. And uh, he said that in his uh, talks with various customers, that they were now saying to heck with this, we're going to run our businesses like we like. And basically that's what Arno said today, is that they're focusing on running their businesses well. You know, and that's the best contribution they can, they can do. I, 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 I would go beyond that, but, but um, that's what uh, hopefully is going to happen this year and maybe the truck market will pick up. Big but news, fre Freightliner out the country, it's a heart, heart sore moment. It's a heart sore moment in terms of losing the legend. You know, the N1 became known as Freightliner Highway and then, um, uh, you know, it's a legend, but Freightliner needed updating, yeah. okay? Uh, it's, uh, it was uncomfortable compared to, for example, the actress yeah. uh, in the same stable. You know, the drivers call it the freight shaker. Yeah. You need a kidney belt sometimes to ride along <laughs> on that one. So it needed an upgrade and perhaps it's not only the exchange rate. I think maybe it's also um, a hidden decision overseas. It hasn't really come out, but this is my opinion of uh, they're not going to invest the amount of money it needs for this market or for the right hand drive markets nope. out of America. You know, it's a lot of money exactly. needed to upgrade it. It's an old cab. Yeah. And the freight shaker has been going, but it's still been going, it's still go for a long time. But the new cabs of today are so coming. And look at something like the Actros, that's probably going to fill the void. There's, uh, it's going to be sad for those who like the American truck. Yeah, you know? that's it's going to be sad. So as for some, you'll never fill the void of an American yeah. truck. But but they're going to have to fill the void eventually. But they've still got long legs on them. Yeah. And Mercedes has said they're going to be here for the aftermarket and the service. 
And I really think that they would place big accent on that because it's a, that's a huge business opportunity. And also you can't drop your customers, which Mercedes will not do. Absolutely. Still a premium brand, Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, yeah, it's under the Mercedes-Benz banner. Absolutely. If it was on its own, I might be a bit more worried. And your outlook for 2017, last question? 2017, I think we're going to have a little bit of, we're going to have a little bit more of a, um, uh, it's going to be a tough year. Yeah. It's going to be a tough year, I think because of the economy. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the shenanigans going on with Treasury could yeah. could bomb out everything. You know, with Zoom and the it Treasury. It all comes down to what government does. Goes back to politics yeah. and what the government does. It shouldn't really, that shouldn't be a, a It shouldn't, because the government is there to create an environment in which business can flourish, provide opportunities for jobs, grow the economy. That's what business can do. Government doesn't do that. They, they don't employ people, they employ public yeah. services with which yeah. cost the economy. Um, and government should be creating a stable environment that encourages investors to come and give good returns and gives a stable environment where business can grow, create jobs, and unemployment is the key that we're sitting on in South Africa that could explode. And um, government's not doing that. And so it does come back to that, unfortunately. And if, a, if another surprise gets popped out like yeah. Nana, and where are we going, you know? Where are we going? It's, uh, it's going to be a tough year. Anyway, congratulations once again. Thank you so much, you biscuit. Number one editor in South Africa. <laughs>